Hello, Drew Devitt here at New Way Air Bearings, where we have been looking into turbochargers and how to retrofit them with our air bearing technology. So what you'll see here is a turbocharger, a Volvo turbocharger. It's designed for a D12 diesel engine. Uh, you can see it's got the compressor side and the turbine side. And if I spin this up, you can see the, the turbine spinning quite freely. I can stop it from the compressor side, get it going in both directions. Uh, there's no way that an oil bearing spins that freely. Um, and so at high speeds, there's a big efficiency savings here. But most importantly, uh, the air bearings give us a chance to get rid of the oil system that's involved here. So um, you know, the oil is important for cooling, but uh, the oil manages to get into both the exhaust stream and the compression stream. Um, it doesn't affect the cooling all that well. Uh, and if we could get rid of oil, you know, the systems would be lighter, they'd be more reliable, and so that's why we think that our gas bearings could have a huge effect on turbochargers. So let's look into uh, how we retrofitted the bearings into the system now. Okay, let's look to the guts of this turbocharger the way it is now on oil bearings. So this is the bit that's inside of all of uh, these, these case castings here. Uh, you can see the compressor wheel and the, the turbine wheel and the input port for the oil and the exit. So um, this is the, the heart of the unit, but uh, when we look here to the actual bearings, you can see these are the, the oil bearings. So the oil comes in these little holes and runs between the shaft and the bearing. And this is the thrust bearing assembly here. So this is uh, what, what keeps the, the assembly axially constrained. So this is basically the oil bearing system. And you can see here, we've got a cross section of it. So two radial bearings and uh, these thrust bearings here on the compressor side. So what we did, or what we would suggest the best design would be, is if you can, you would run directly on the back of the compressor wheel and on the back of the turbine wheel. So we recognize that this is very hot, but because we can make these from ceramic matrix composites that are fired at 800 or 900 C, they can withstand this sort of heat. And so now, you're just bringing air pressure into this assembly, no oil whatsoever, and you're running on the backs of the impellers. This is what we think is the optimum design. And we weren't actually able to do that in this demo. You can see what we did here was, uh, we actually made some adaptive hardware because you know these impellers are not really designed at this point to have air bearing functionality on their backs. You can see this sort of crazy cut and sealing that they try to affect back here, but you wouldn't have to have any of this sealing because this thrust bearing would be the seal. So uh, that's one of our patents is the thrust bearing as a seal. So uh, that, would, that would keep the pressures from the exhaust and the, and the intake from migrating one way or the other. Okay, that was a discussion about our retrofit of this Volvo turbocharger that was for an over-the-road truck, uh, like a lorry, that uh, uh, is a, maybe a medium-sized turbocharger. I know there's lots of marine and other large diesel turbochargers. So uh, there's also a small end. That would be these parts here. So uh, there are a lot of applications for uh, smaller turbochargers, like this Garrett turbocharger. Uh, but there's also a lot of uh, potential market for micro turbines in this side or uh, compressors for fuel cells. And so again, you know, getting rid of the oil is a huge advantage in those applications um, and uh, having higher efficiency is important. But one of the, uh, another big aspect is that we can reduce the tip clearances in these machines. So you know, as they spin faster, as they go to higher pressures, these tip clearances become more important on a cube function. So with a really small piece of equipment like this, being able to reduce those tip clearances through precision engineering, being able to run directly on the back of the compressor, directly on the back of the, of the turbine wheel, being able to seal those cavities at that point, right? 
um, and being able to um, eliminate the thermal growth that you would normally have from a thrust bearing that's over here to this compressor. You know, it's a couple of inches, it's hundreds of degrees of thermal gradient, so you wind up with uh, tens of thousands of axial growth. Uh, we can basically eliminate almost all of that and make these small machines much more efficient. So, uh, just to sum it up, uh, you know, New Way thinks with our high temperature porous gas bearings, we can improve the efficiency, uh, we can reduce the drag, um, we can apply this technology not just to turbochargers, but to micro turbines and uh, compressors in fuel cell systems.